YouTube channel. Today I am going to be reading creepy text stories. It is currently 10 p.m. where I am, so it's even scarier. Well, maybe. I don't know how scary it is. The first one I'm going to read is First Kiss. Let's go. Turn on audio. Um, why does it want my name? That's kind of scary. Who would I like to have my first kiss with? Obviously, I can't name names in my YouTube video, so let's just say I want my first kiss with Bob. Yeah. Um, the person I would like to kiss is male. Bob's male. I'm so nervous. You'll be fine. Just close your eyes. Is it supposed to be dark in here? How can you see? Pitch black. That's the idea. You're not supposed to see. It's like seven minutes in heaven. What the fuck? You really think Bob will be in there? Yeah, Bob is already at the dance. Where are you? He said he was excited for it. Wait, am I the dog person? Who are walking in now? Music is so loud. Yeah, you can't hear anyone. Everyone is texting now. Even the teachers. Where are you? Outside, getting a hot dog. Nice. So, are you ready? Fine, no, can I back out? It's a school tradition. Everyone's going in the squad. Has to do it. What am I backing out of? And what squad am I? Shooting. <laughs> well, I guess kissing my crush isn't so bad. Where do I go? I mean, I know it. Janet is closed. Oh my god, so difficult. It's unlocked. I'll tell Bob. He said he'll meet you in bed. Okay. If you should first ever kiss. Yeah, how do you know? Is it obvious? It was mine too when I did it last year. Oh, that's so cute. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just go in there, close your eyes as you go in, shut the door. Okay. Ten minutes later. Uh oh. What? What happened? Wait, is that the end? No! Let's do another story. I think I'm just doing. Because I don't have an account account on this and I'm just reading random stories. I don't know. What happens to me and Bob? Do we kiss? Does he kill me? <gasps> he kills me. I walk into the closet with my eyes closed and he stabs me. That's what's happening. Yeah. Let's do this one next. It watches from behind the mirror. Scary. Is it going to ask for my name now? I'm a high school substitute teacher. Last week I found a phone in my classroom. This creepy text conversation was on it. I did something really bad. Oh yeah? I snuck into school last night around midnight. Who doesn't do that? Damn well. I could get in a ton of trouble for what I did, but I think she's worth it. She? Who? Who's she? Did she? Did this person murder someone? She, the new PE teacher. Did she murder the new PE teacher? Uh, yeah, she's so hot. What the hell? So what did you do? I went into the gym office and replaced the mirror. I put in a two-way I got off the internet. A two-way mirror? It's a mirror that looks like a real mirror, but lets you see them, but they can't see you. Like what they have in police interrogation rooms. It has a tiny video camera built into it. She'll have no idea I'm videoing her. That's creepy. If someone put a video camera in my mirror, I would break the mirror. Seriously? Yeah. OMG. You're my hero. What gave you the idea? My vacation in Japan. What the hell? What is that? What the fuck? 
it's a public restroom in a park. Weird, right? What? It's upside down. How do you pee? I know, right? They have a lot of crazy stuff going on over there. This sign was outside the women's. No peeping and peeping photo. Police are now in special patrol. I mean, I think they should have it in every bathroom, not just in Japan. No peeping and peeping photo? Turns out they have ma a massing peeping tom problem in Tokyo, with men trying to look up women's skirts. Men actually stick small mirrors on their shoes. Get this, it's so widespread that it's against the law if you take a photo and your cell doesn't beep. Wow. Yeah, wow. Well, they should make that a rule in every country. I was thinking how I could do something like it without getting caught and I thought of the mirror idea. OMG, how about that girl right in 11th grade? Hottest junior ever. I'd love seven minutes with her. Yes, yes, yes. I'm buying another, another mirror online today. To put where? In the girls' locker room. Okay, if someone said this to me, or I found out someone said this, I would never go into the locker room again. Never, ever. I don't go into the school bathroom anyway. I'll sneak back in tonight once everyone has gone home. Nice, I'll have no idea. OMG, I know where you have to put one. Where? In the girls' bathroom. Yes, of course. Just remember, no matter what, promise not to share the photos with anyone. We could get in a ton of trouble. No way would I say a thing. You can trust me. No, you cannot. Come by after school and we can get popcorn and watch what we've taped. Awesome. That's where the conversation ended. I put up a flying saying I found a phone. I waited, wondering what to say to the student who came to pick it up. There was a knock on my classroom door. The principal ended and asked for his phone back. I could tell he knew I read his text. The next day I was told not to return to school due to a student complaint. I'm not allowed back on the premises. If you're a student reading this, please be warned. Check all mirrors at your school. Someone may be watching. Well, that's it for today. That was very interesting. I can't believe it was a principal. I thought it was just some random person. But if it's a principal, technically, he doesn't need to sneak into the school because he's the principal. Anyway, that's all for today. Hope you guys like this video. Um, comment down below which one was your favourite story. Um, that's all. Bye.